Hi, I'm Josh with SemiconductorStore.com, and we're excited in this Google Hangout to feature some innovators that are using some really neat technology. Without further ado, I want to highlight the team at AutoScan and jump over to them and learn more about the prototype that they've built. So let's jump on over. Hi, guys. Hi. Uh, how's it going? So first, I want to jump in and talk about your technology auto scan and ask you a couple questions. Of first of all, where are you today? Why are you in a hotel room presenting to us? So right now we're out in Columbus, Ohio, at the Ohio State University for a national senior capstone project conference. It's a conference held uh, every two years for capstone projects from across the country, and we were one of 13 student groups selected for, uh, to present a poster on our project. Congratulations. Talk to us about your project, your prototype, this technology called AutoScan. What does it do? So AutoScan has a few main components, the first of which is a scanning bar that's going to mount underneath the bus. And while that's under there, it's going to basically scan the road using a depth sensing camera for potholes. It'll detect and bound those potholes as well as volumetrically analyze them using image processing algorithms. Um, the main component that does all the image processing is the Gizmo Development Board, which we purchased our uh, semiconductor store. Um, it's made by Sage Engineering, and it does all of our image processing on board. Um, after that, um, it's sent, we also geotag the pothole as well using an onboard GPS device, and we send the volume, GPS, time and date data of the pothole off to a database where our website reads from it, and we have a uh, and we have Google Map embedded in our AutoScan website that plots all of the potholes and also has the ability to schedule repair jobs for municipalities. And Very Vinny cool. More about, and Vinny can talk more about the uh, scanning method. That's great. So you talked a little bit about the board that you have in there and then some of the components to record the geographical and volumetric data. Talk, what other components do you have in, in the prototype? So the main part for pothole detection is our depth sensing camera. We chose to go with a, a non-normal uh, like RGB color camera because of restrictions of not working at night. So what this camera does, it's, a, it's the depth sense 325 camera from Soft Kinetic. And what it does is it has an infrared array of LEDs that pulse at a really high frequency. And what it's able to do is calculate the phase difference of reflected light into the lens and calculate depth data. Uh, we also have the, our PCB on board, which, was, uh, which we designed. And it powers the system with our uh, onboard battery. We didn't want to hook into the electrical system on the car because we wanted it to be e easily removable and rechargeable. So that's another big part of our system. Very cool. So let's now that we're talking about the system and some of the powering uh, ways that you're powering it, what are some of the biggest hurdles that you guys had when you were building this? So definitely system integration was a big hurdle for us. You buy all these components, and you buy them specifically because you want them to do something specific. And at the end of the day, when you try to put them all together and make a working uh, singular device, uh, things don't like to talk to each other. So we spent a lot of time actually just getting things to work with each other, uh, even after we had already bought devices. We also tried to keep the device as cheap as possible. We're a student group. We have a budget of $1,000. But we also think that it's important to keep it cheap so that municipalities can buy a lot and detect as many potholes as possible. Yeah, and what grade are you guys in in college? We all just graduated, actually. Congratulations. Well, let's, let's actually, this is my, my last question. What's the next step for AutoScan? Well, like uh, Stu was saying there, uh, we started as a student group, so we never really thought that this would kind of like get, get as much attention as it has. So right now we're, we've been focused on the student stage, just developing a project, but we've received so much attention that we are interested in bringing it into development, and we've talked to some preliminary patent lawyers, some preliminary uh, startup uh, people involved in the business, and we've even talked to someone at uh, GE Railroad who's also interested in the technology for uh, locomotive, for freight locomotives because they have so much track across the country and they have a really hard time finding broken railroad ties. So they're interested in using the technology to find those as they uh, travel across the country. Uh, in the future, we're looking just to develop the technology and take it as far as we can. And at this point, we have no uh, uh, official. Yeah, it's, There's no set plan yeah, about we're, we're, yeah, we're, we're considering further development to make it more market ready. Yeah. 
That's awesome. Well, you guys have an exciting future ahead of you. Congratulations on graduating, and congratulations on being one of the 13 groups to present your technology. Really happy for you guys. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Those of you that are watching this broadcast, you can learn more at semiconductorstore.com where we highlight innovators that are using our technology in really, really neat ways. Semiconductorstore.com. I'm Josh. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody.